Hello and welcome to Thomas Geiger car. Today with a car that is totally untypical for these days. Everybody's talking about clean vehicles, smart vehicles, electric vehicles. This guy loves the dirt and digs the mud and it's done that for a purpose. It looks like the Defender, but it's called the Ineos Grenadier, built by a British million billionaire that just was disappointed about the way Land Rover handled the Defender legacy. So he decided to build his own. And he did this with quite an effort because he's got the money, he's got the power, he's got the knowledge. And now the car is almost ready for production. But if you want to know how this car handles the hardest terrain and don't want to wait until it hits the market towards the end of the year, join me on my first test drive and I'll tell you more about it. We're still sitting in a prototype. That's the reason for the special seat belts. That's the reason for all the warning stickers. That's the reason for the emergency switches on the dashboard. But the look and feel is already pretty close to conduct production with all the fancy controls that somehow reminds me on an airplane cockpit and that I haven't seen anywhere else yet. The only familiar part is the gear lever that is pure BMW since the automatic transmission underneath the 8-speed auto from ZF is also BMW just like the two engines. Ineos has bought the 3-liter inline 6 engines from BMW as a diesel and as a petrol engine has newly calibrated and recalibrated them to get a little less power but more torque. So we're talking about 245 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque for the diesel and 285 horsepower and 450 newton meters for the petrol engine. As common as that might be for the BMW people, there is one lever next to the gear lever you won't find in any BMW. That is the reduction gearbox giving you even more torque on the terrain like that. There are no gimmicks like a terrain response control or something like that. You just have three diff locks in the car, one in the center and one for each axle. The center one is standard. The ones at the axle have to be paid as an extra, but that's basically all you need to have really lots of fun on the terrain. And some people say the Eneos is a bit like a Defender. And yes, the looks are at least, let's say, inspired. But if you remember how horrible the drive was in the old Defender, that's a complete different story. It is not as comfortable and not as fancy as the new Defender, agreed. But based on a leather frame with solid axles, this is a real tough off-roader that still has some comfort left for the city. The playground we're using here is a quarry just behind the French border in Alsac and that's for a reason because half an hour's drive from here is the town called Hambach and at least the people that know Daimler should be pretty familiar with that place because that's the place where Daimler has been producing the smart. Ineos has bought the company and the factory will build the last few smart 4.2s before Chinese are taking over and building the next generation smart in China and Hambach will become the new home of the Grenadier which is kind of ironic situation because the smart was the most urban car ever and the Grenadier is one of the least urban and the most outdoor car that you can imagine. Thanks for joining me on that first prototype drive with the new Ineos Grenadier, a car that really picks up the legacy of the Defender and gives it a new twist. A car that is definitely different to all the other SUVs you see on the road and that's the big thing of this vehicle. 59,000 euros is the starting price in Germany and I think there is a market for this vehicle for a utility and a tool in the jungle as well as a cool car in the city.